Blessed Tuesday everyone. Welcome to our second day of our 30th week of our daily devotions. And I know we are currently um, under stricter uh, quarantine uh, level. But again, one of the things that we hold on to is the sovereignty of God. That He is uh, always in control. And so, yeah, it saddens me that we are again in quarantine. But take heart everyone we should not be crippled by fear but act in faith at uh magpatuloy lamang po sa panampalataya kay Cristo because um scarier than the virus is being um thinking that you are safe but you're not so ngayong pandemya guys sabi natin we should not be uh wasting the pandemic and um uh, take the hint what God is telling us uh, and I believe that God has taken us here so that we would understand that the need to go back to the basics his word today we'll be looking at Romans 12 uh, verse 17 but we'll start from verse 9 because sabi po natin, this is a section that talks about true marks of a true believer a genuine believer so let's start with verse 9 and it reads this way let love be genuine abhor what is evil Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but also associate with the lowly. Never re, uh, be wise in your own sight. Verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Our devotion will be focusing on the first phrase of verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil. Ang title ng ating devotion is No Such Thing as Payback. No, there's no such thing as payback. Walang katotohan na dapat tayo magiganti, right? To pay back. This is what John MacArthur wrote for us. Some people believe the Old Testament law of eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, found in Exodus 21, 24, permits personal revenge. Tama po yun, hindi po yun. And, and I think the reason why uh, we say that, oh, sige, um, mata sa mata, ngipin sa ngipin, it's not actually promoting uh, revenge or anger it's actually a wonderful way that god has given uh, uh, his people na hindi mag exceed sa um, offense yung kabayaran so that the the penalty of the sin or or any crime would not exceed the crime itself for example if you poke someone's eye then you should be poked in the eye as well so an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth that is the point there it's not talking about oh sige um ng lahi. <laughs> all right it doesn't uh, uh say that right so sabi nga nun, hindi ito it's not a permission for us to take personal revenge an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth but that's not what it refers to sabi ni Jen macarthur it was actually saying that the severity of legal punishment should not exceed the severity of an offense. So guys, I said earlier, the the offense should not. I mean, the the punishment should not exceed the offense itself. In other words, if someone put out another person's eye, he could not be penalized by anything involving more than the forfeiture of his own eye. The auto authority to avenge civil and criminal injustices belongs by divine man mandate only to governments. So, yan po ang rason, but may gobyerno tayo? Sabi po ni Sir Romans pa rin, uh, God is using the government um, as His tool, as His instrument to promote justice, to, to have peace and order, right? So, we should not avenge and uh, um, parang in payback if there are injustices. And I know uh, there are uh, loopholes in the justice system, but but we take it to heart that God is the just um, judge who would repay everything. Now, if there is injustice sa inyo, then God would um, 
um, deal with that for you. Masabi niya, do not take into your hands uh, uh, paying back, but leave room for God to fight for you. If you're cer- certainly if you're a believer, right? So, gobierno raw. And, and if the government has loopholes, corruption, and, and injustices, well, it's an opportunity for us to be trusting God more. Pero tayo po ay inutusan to pay no evil with evil, right? God forbids us from exacting personal vengeance. The Apostle Peter summarized the principle this way. Finally, 1 Peter chapter 3, All of you be of one mind, not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you are called to this. You may inherit a blessing. We ought to be people who pronounce blessings and be gracious to people. I know we are frail and injustices are done to us and uh, we are offended, but it's a command to repay evil with, uh, to repay no evil with evil. To, to, wag mo gumante, right? To pay, uh, so, so to not pay evil with another evil. Because that would just be a continuous pattern in your life. Eh, pag gumanti ka, sila. So it would be a, uh, an unending uh, pattern of hatred and um, animosity. But if you would just let God be God and leave room for the government and the justice system to rule, and if there are injustices in the government itself, then God will have the last say. But as for you, as for us, believers, if injustices are, are done to us, and um, we, we should not... Um, Repay evil with evil. Blessed nga, sabi ba? Uh, blessed and do not curse. I know it's hard, but we do hard things for Christ. And um, our new disposition is to please God and not to gratify our self. Right? Uh, and revenge or avenging uh, offenses done to you is actually gratifying your your pride, our pride. Right? Salamat sa Diyos sa araw na ito um, na tayo pinalalahan na naman niya na isa sa katangian ng tunay naman ng pataya is someone who will not repay evil with evil but will, be, what, but will bless those who persecute them and bless and do not curse. Right? And it's a struggle but the wonderful thing is that we have the Holy Spirit residing in us that we could ask help from. Diba? Siya ang comforter, siya ang helper, siya ang enabler natin to do things for God. And so, um, I pray that we were um, informed, encouraged, and rebuked if there are uh, things in your mind, in your heart, na nasaktan kayo tapos gusto yung gumante. Hindi na. It's not worth it. Imagine po ninyo, um, you have been keeping your testimony, your witness for quite a while, for 10 years, 15 years, maybe 20 years. And then in a matter of seconds, gagantihan mo, magasalta ka na masama. There goes, there goes your testimony. Right? And uh, I pray that we would be thinking about what uh, would be glorifying to God. Right? Sige po, maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin. And again, ingat po kayong lahat. Um, I know we are in a stricter quarantine level, but may I just encourage all of you to keep on keeping on and uh, continue on uh, trusting the Lord. Uh, Be concerned, be cautious, do whatever you can to protect yourselves, but do not be crippled by fear. Alam nang just lahat lahat na ito, go back to Him and His Word, right? If you're scared, go back to His Word. If you're anxious, go back to His Word. If you're uh, confused and uh, are in doubt, go back to His Word. Right? Sige po, manalangin tayo. Salamat sa pagsawin sa akin dito. Lord, we thank you for reminding us again of what we ought to be doing when injustice is done to us. We, at times, Lord, use Bible passages to our benefit, to justify our 
uh, selfish motives. Just like the eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth passage. Thinking, Lord, this is a, a license for us to um, get even with people. But Lord, we understand that this is a beautiful mandate that you have given your people so that the severity of the punishment would not exceed the severity of the offense. In other words, Lord, this is your justice system uh, still uh, showing us that you are indeed just. And if injustices are done to us, Lord, may we um, trust in you, trust in the government that you have installed and, and um, ordained sa aming pong land. And uh, if there is still injustice, Lord, in the gov- in the government system we pray that we would not um, take matters into our own hands but uh, just trust you the righteous judge who would um, have the last say but for us Lord may we be uh, facing you in the last day in the time when we would uh, see you face to face and we would be uh, found um, those who did not repay evil with evil but uh, people who blessed even those who persecuted them. Maraming salamat po sa paralang ito. We continue to ask you to be with us, protect us, give us joy, Lord, in our hearts. Um, kahit na ang mundo ay natatakot sa virus na ito, may we uh, be, of all people, uh, people um, known to be secured and uh, joyful. Maraming salamat sa araw na ito. Magpalain niyo po para po sa inyong kapurihan. Sa pangalan mo, Jesus, Amen at Amen. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all uh, tomorrow for our uh, third day. Ingat po kayo lahat. God bless you.